Why are Na and K called sodium and potassium, and not natrium and kalium? One thing that always bothered me was that the chemical elements sodium and potassium have symbols Na and K respectively. They are so common, they were identified relatively early in the history of chemistry. They are everywhere. So why aren't the symbols SO and PO, for example? SO is not taken, and PO stands now for polonium, which Marie Curie extracted from the uranium ore about 90 years after potassium got its name. So why? Why? Well, the names sodium and potassium in English have historical roots, while their symbols Na and K come from their Latin names. Sodium is a soft, silvery-white, highly reactive metal. The name sodium comes from soda, which was historically used to refer to sodium carbonate. The term soda itself has roots in medieval Latin sodanum, which was used for a headache remedy containing sodium. The symbol Na comes from the Latin word natrium, which is derived from natron, an Egyptian name for a natural mineral containing sodium carbonate. On the other side, potassium is also a silvery white metal that is soft enough to easily cut with a knife. The name potassium comes from potash, which refers to potassium compounds derived from wood ashes. The term potash comes from the Dutch word potassa. The symbol K comes from the Latin word kalium, which is derived from the Arabic word alkalia, meaning plant ashes. It is, of course, alkaline, which is again Arabic for saltwort, type of plants that grow in dry alkali soils. Worth mentioning, perhaps, both sodium and potassium are alkali metals all of which have only one electron in s orbital. Anyway, the names. The English names sodium and potassium were chosen by Sir Humphrey Davy, who first isolated these elements in 1807. In 1809, the German physicist and chemist Ludwig Wilhelm Gilbert proposed the names natronium for sodium and kalium for potassium. The symbols Na and K were later adopted by the Swedish chemist Jens Jakob Berzelius, who preferred the Latin names for their international recognition. Berzelius is credited with discovering the elements cerium, selenium, zirconium, titanium, and thorium, so I guess had a big say in all of this, so now I know, and you know too. By the way, potassium, or kalium, is an essential element. We need to consume 1 to 5 grams per day. It is life-preserving, but did you know it is also intimately associated with danger and even death? It is highly reactive, explosive. The most sinister use of potassium is as chloride solutions injected into the bloodstream. Such intravenous injections are potentially lethal and serve for executions in some U.S. states, although they are also used to treat potassium deficiency. Sodium, or natrium, is also explosive, but combined with chlorine, it's a table salt. Nutritional experts usually recommend between 1.5 and 2.3 grams per day, but not every table salt is the same. More about that in another video some other time. If you want to learn more about sodium potassium pump, which plays a vital role in our neural system and other interesting things, subscribe to our channel to get the alert. Share with your friends, like. Until next time.